Good afternoon. Today I would like to introduce you the next pharmacology lecture, Drugs Acting on Afferent Innervation. Lecture plan. General considerations, local anesthetics, astringent agents, covering agents, absorbing agents, and irritative agents. Let's start from general considerations. First of all, I would like to discuss with you the classification of nervous system. Nervous system is a complex network of nerves and cells that carry messages to and from the brain and spinal cord to various parts of the body. The nervous system includes both the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system is made up of the somatic and the autonomic nervous system. And autonomic nervous system is subdivided into sympathetic division and parasympathetic division. So peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is part of the nervous system. It is located behind the brain and spinal cord, provides two-way communication of the central nervous system with the organs and systems of the body. The peripheral nervous system includes cranial and spinal nerves, sensory nodes of cranial and spinal nerves, nodes, ganglias, and nerves of the autonomic nervous system, as well as the number of elements of the nervous system through which external and internal stimuli, receptors and affectors, are perceived. Nerves are formed by processes of nerve cells, the bodies of which lie within the brain and spinal cord, as well as in the nerve nodes of the peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nerves can vary in length and thickness. The longest cranial nerve is the vagus nerve. It is known that the peripheral nervous system connects the brain and spinal cord with other systems through two types of nerve fibers, centripetal and centrifugal. The first group of fibers conducts impulses from the periphery to the CNS and is called sensitive or afferent nerve fibers. The second conducts impulses from the CNS to the body. These are motor, efferent nerve fibers. Depending on the innervated organs, efferent fibers of peripheral nerves can perform a motor function, innervate muscle tissue, secretory, innervating glands, trophic, provide metabolic processes in tissues. Allocate motor nerves, sensory and mixed. The motor nerve is formed by processes of nerve cells located in the nuclei of the anterior horns of the spinal cord or in the motor nuclei of the cranial nerves. The sensory nerve consists of processes of nerve cells that form the spinal nodes or nodes of the cranial nerves. Mixed nerves contain both sensory and motor nerve fibers. Autonomic afferents. Afferent fibers from visceral structures are the first link in the reflex arcs of the autonomic system. Most visceral reflexes are mediated through the central nervous system. Information on the status of the visceral organs is transmitted to the CNS through the cranial nerve, parasympathetic, visceral sensory system, and the spinal, sympathetic, visceral afferent system. Cell bodies are located in the sensory ganglia of cranial nerves, and the dorsal root ganglion of spinal nerves, mixed and non-myelinated nerves. The cranial visceral sensory, mechanoreceptor and hemosensory information. There are four cranial nerves, 5, 7, 9 and 10. Carries from face, head, tongue, palate, carotid body, thoracic and abdominal visceral organs except pelvic. The spinal visceral system, temperature and tissue injury of mechanical, chemical or thermal origin, sensory afferents from all viscera at thoracic level, muscle hemosensations at all spinal level, pelvic sensory responses at S2, S4 level. Central connections. No exclusive autonomic area in CNS. Intermixing. Somatic responses always are accompanied by visceral responses and vice versa. Autonomic reflexes can be elicited at the level of the spinal cord, sweating, blood pressure alterations, vasomotor responses to temperature changes, and reflex emptying of the urinary bladder, rectum, and seminal vesicles. Hypothalamus and STN is the organ to regulate. Highly integrated patterns of responses are organized in hypothalamus. 
Many autonomic centers are located in midbrain, medulla, limited pattern responses, sympathetic lateral and posterior nuclei, parasympathetic anterior and medial nuclei. Pharmacological groups of drugs which act in the area of afferent nerves endings. Local anesthetics, astringent agents, covering agents, adsorptive agents and irritative agents. Today we will discuss all five. First is local anesthetics. Let's start from classification of local anesthetics. First of all, they may be classified into natural, for example, cocaine, and synthetic. Synthetic are subdivided into esters, derivatives from paraminobenzoic acid, and again subdivided into soluble in water and insoluble in water. And the second group of synthetic is amides. On this slide, you can see the examples of esters and amides. From esters, you can see benzocaine, chloroprocaine, cocaine, proparacaine, and tetracaine. From amides, you can see articaine, bupivacaine, dibucaine, lidocaine, mepivacaine, prilocaine, and ropivacaine. If a patient reports an allergy to an amide type local anesthetic, then a different amide type local anesthetic may be trialed. The risk of cross-sensitivity is considered very low. Using an epinephrine-free and preservative-free product, if available, and appropriate for the indication, is preferable. Features of amide local anesthetics compared to ester local anesthetics. Produce more intense and long-lasting anesthesia. Bind to alpha-1 AC glycoprotein in plasma. Not hydrolyzed by plasma esterase rarely cause hypersensitivity reactions, no cross-sensitivity with ester local anesthetics. Also, local anesthetics can be classified to surface anesthetics and injectable anesthetics. Surface anesthetics soluble, cocaine, procaine, lidocaine, tetracaine, and oxybuprocaine. Insoluble, benzocaine, butyl aminobenzoate, butamben, and oxetacaine. Injectable anesthetics. They are classified into low potency, short duration, intermediate potency and duration, high potency, long duration. Low potency, short duration are procaine and chloroprocaine. Intermediate potency and duration, lidocaine or lignocaine and prilocaine. High potency, long duration, tetracaine, bupivacaine, ropivacaine and dibucaine. So let's discuss all of them in details. Cocaine, natural alkaloid from leaves of erythroxylon coca, a South America plant growing on the foothills of the Andes, first used for ocular anesthesia in 1884. Please remember that cocaine should never be injected. It is a protoplasmic poison and causes tissue necrosis. It produces prominent CNS stimulation with marked effect on mood and behavior, induces a sense of well-being, delays fatigue and increases power of endurance. In susceptible individuals, it produces a state referred to as high, leading to strong physiological but little physical dependence. Behavioral effects are experienced at lower doses. Cocaine is unique among drugs of abuse in not producing significant tolerance on repeated use. Cocaine also stimulates vagal center, bradycardia, vasomotor center, rising BP, vomiting center, nausea and vomiting, temperature regulating center, pyrexia, also due to increased heat production as a result of enhanced muscular activity. In the periphery, cocaine blocks uptake of noradrenaline and adrenaline into adrenergic nerve endings. Local vasoconstriction, tachycardia, rise in BP and midriasis are the manifestations of its sympathomimetic action. Toxicology of cocaine, acute intoxication, short time euphoria, fear, tachycardia, exophthalmos, dizziness, delirium, loss of consciousness, seizures, comatose condition, decreasing of arterial pressure, stop of breathing. Chronic intoxication, cocainism, physiological and physical addiction, mental degradation, cretinism, atrophic disorders including perforation of nasal septum, gangrene, heavy cardiac arrhythmias, cardiac arrest. 
On this slide you can see some side effects of chronic use of cocaine. Brain, throat, lungs, systemic, nose, teeth, heart and skin. Next representative is procaine. Procaine or Novocaine. First synthetic local anesthetic introduced in 1905. Its popularity declined after the introduction of lidocaine. Procaine forms poorly soluble salt with benzyl penicillin, procaine penicillin, which injected IM acts for 24 hours due to slow absorption from the site of injection. And below you can see the formula of procaine, which is a ster representative. Next representative is lidocaine. Lidocaine, or also as we may call it, lignocaine or xylocaine. Introduced in 1948, it is currently the most widely used local anesthetic. And below you can see the formula of lidocaine. Next one is prelocaine. Prelocaine is similar to lidocaine local anesthetic, but doesn't cause vasodilation at the site of infiltration and has lower CNS toxicity due to larger volume of distribution. One of its metabolites has potential to cause methemoglobinemia. And below we can see the formula of prelocaine. Next very interesting one is eutectic lidocaine prelocaine. Eutectic lidocaine prelocaine. Eutectic mixture refers to lowering of melting point of two solids when they are mixed. This happens when lidocaine and prelocaine are mixed in equal proportion and 25 degrees above zero Celsius. The resulting oil is emulsified into water to form a cream that is applied under occlusive dressing for one hour before IV cannulation. Anesthesia up to depth of 5 mm lasts for 1-2 hours. Eutectic lidocaine prelocaine cream 5% is a eutectic mixture of the local anesthetics lidocaine 25 mg each gram and prilocaine 25 mg each gram that provides dermal anesthesia analgesia following topical application. Eutectic lidocaine prelocaine cream is a novel formulation of local anesthetics that has proven to be effective and well tolerated in the relief of pain associated with various minor interventions in adults and children. Next one is tetracaine or ametocaine, highly lipid soluble paraaminobenzoic ester, more potent and more toxic due to slow hydrolysis by plasma pseudocholinesterase. It is both surface and conduction block anesthetic, but its use restricted to topical application to the eye, nose, throat, tracheobronchial tree, and rarely for spinal or caudal anesthesia of long duration. And below you can see tetracaine formula. Next one is bupivacaine. Bupivacaine, a potent and long-acting amide-linked local anesthetic. It has high lipid solubility, distributes more in tissues than in blood after spinal epidural injection. Used for infiltration, nerve block, epidural and spinal anesthesia of long duration. 0.25 to 0.5% solution injected epidurally produces adequate analgesia without significant motor blockade. Very popular in obstetrics, it is less likely to reach the fetus when used during labor and for post-operative pain relief by continuous epidural infusion. Please remember, epidural anesthesia with 0.75% solution of bupivacaine during labor has caused few fatalities due to cardiac arrest. Use of this concentration is contraindicated. Bupivacaine is more prone to prolonged UT interval and induce ventricular tachycardia or cardiac depression should not be used for intravenous regional analgesia. Next one is ropivacaine. Ropivacaine, a bupivacaine congener, long-acting but less cardiotoxic. It blocks fibers which are involved in pain transmission more completely than fibers which control motor function. Equi-effective concentrations of ropivacaine are higher than those of bupivacaine, a greater degree of separation between sensory and motor block has been obtained with epidural ropivacaine. 
Continuous epidural ropivacaine is being used for relief of postoperative and labor pain. Also can be employed for nerve blocks. And below you can see the pictures of ropivacaine. Next one is dibucaine. Dibucaine or kinhocaine. Most potent but as well most toxic and longest acting local anesthetic. Mostly used as surface anesthetic on less delicate mucous membranes, anal canal for example. Use for spinal anesthesia of long duration has declined after the availability of bupivacaine. And here you can see some drug forms, yes, which are injection ointments and eardrops, and also their pictures. The next one is oxybuprocaine. Oxybuprocaine, good surface anesthetic for the eye, has little irritancy. A 0.4 solution rapidly produces corneal anesthesia sufficient for tonometry without causing midriasis or corneal damage. And here you can see also the pictures of it. Next one is articane. Articane or ultracane. Infiltrative and conductive anesthesia. Analgetic action develops after 1-2 minutes, less for 1 to 3.5 hours. In stomatology, combined drug, which consists of articane and adrenaline, epinephrine, ultracane, DC. The question, what is the purpose of this combination? I mean, articane and adrenaline. And here you can see some pictures of it. Next one is local anesthetics action. The sodium channel has an activation gate, make or M gate, near extracellular mouth, and an inactivation gate, halt or H gate, at the intracellular mouth. In the resting state, the activation gate is closed. Threshold depolarization of the membrane opens the activation gate, allowing sodium ions to flow in along the concentration gradient. Within a few milliseconds, the inactivation gate closes and ion flow ceases. The channel recovers to the resting state in a time-dependent manner. The local anesthetic receptor is located within its intracellular half. Binding of local anesthetic to its receptor stabilizes the channel in the inactive state and reduces the probability of its opening. The neuronal sodium channel is a 300 kD glycoprotein composed of large alpha and two small beta-1, beta-2 subunits. The alpha subunit encloses the sodium selective pore within its four homologous domains, 1 to 4. Each domain has six membrane-spanning helical segments, S1 to S6, connected alternately by intracellular and extracellular loops. And on this slide you can see comparative properties of important local anesthetics according to their potency, concentration used, safe maximum dose, and metabolism. For example, for cocaine, procaine, lidocaine, tetracaine, bupivacaine, and dibucaine. If used adrenaline, addition of adrenaline may increase safe limit up to 40%. And the last part about local anesthetics, acute poisoning with local anesthetics. What are the symptoms? Decreasing of arterial pressure, heart activity, cardiac arrest, depression of CNS and breathing, seizures. What is the treatment? Vasoconstriction drugs, for example, noradrenaline or adrenaline, cardiotonic drugs, strophantin K, corglycone, anti-seizure drugs, diazepam, tiopental sodium. Prophylaxis. Usage of least possible volume and most possible dilution of the local anesthetics. The next part is techniques of local anesthesia. What are the techniques? Surface anesthesia, infiltration anesthesia, conduction block which is subdivided into field block and nerve block, spinal anesthesia and epidural anesthesia. Surface anesthesia, produced by topical application or spraying of a surface anesthetic to mucous membranes and abraded skin. Only superficial layer is anesthetized and there is no loss motor function. One set and duration depend on the site, the drug, 
is concentration and form. For example, 10% solution of lidocaine sprayed in the throat acts in 2-5 minutes and produces anesthesia for 30-45 minutes. Addition of adrenaline doesn't affect duration of topical anesthesia, but noradrenaline can cause mucosal vasoconstriction and prolong topical anesthesia. Absorption from mucous membranes is rapid. Blood concentration of lidocaine sprayed in throat approach those attained on NV injection. Toxicity can occur. Sites and uses of surface anesthetics. On this picture you can see sites, eye, nose, ear, mouth, throat and others, and the drugs in which concentration, in which medicinal form and for which purpose are used. So the next one is infiltration anesthesia. It is used for minor operations, for example, incisions, excisions, hydrocyl, etc., when the area to be anesthetized is small and produced by diluted solution of anesthetic. Relatively larger amount of local anesthetic is required compared to the area anesthetized, which is infiltrated under the skin in the area of operation. Sensory nerve endings due to this are blocked. Onset of action is almost immediate and duration is shorter than that after nerve block. Motor function is not affected. Next one is conduction block. It is produced by injection of anesthetic drug, most commonly 1-2% lidocaine is used, around trunks so that the area distal to injection is anesthetized and paralyzed. It is subdivided to field block. It is produced by subcutaneous injecting of anesthetic in manner that all nerves coming to particular field are blocked. Concentration of anesthetic is the same as in infiltration anesthesia. Larger area beginning 2-3 cm distal to the line of injection can be anesthetized with less drug compared to infiltration. And second is nerve block is produced by injection of anesthetic drug around the appropriate nerve trunk or plexuses. Muscles supplied by the injected nerve plexus are paralyzed. The area of resulting anesthesia is still larger compared to the amount of drug used. The latency of anesthesia depends on the drug and the area to be covered by diffusion. The primary purpose of nerve block anesthesia is to abolish pain and other sensation. Nerve block lasts longer than field block or infiltration anesthesia. The next one is spinal anesthesia. It is produced by injecting anesthetic drug in the subarachnoid space between lumbar 2-3 or lumbar 3-4 below the lower end of spinal cord. The primary site of action is the nerve roots in the cauda equina rather than the spinal cord. Lower abdomen and hind limbs are anesthetized and paralyzed. The level of anesthesia depends on the volume and speed of injection, specific gravity of drug solution and posture of the patient. The drug solution could be hyperbaric in 10% glucose or isobaric with cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. Nerve roots rapidly take up and retain the drug, therefore its concentration in CSF falls quickly after injection. The level of anesthesia doesn't change with the change of posture, become fixed, after 10 minutes. Also higher segments are exposed to progressively lower concentration of anesthetic. Since autonomic preganglionic fibers are more sensitive and somatic motor fibers less sensitive than somatic sensory fibers, the level of sympathetic block is about two segments higher and the level of motor paralysis about two segments lower than the level of cutaneous analgesia. The duration of spinal anesthesia depends on the drug used and concentration. Addition of 0.2-0.4 mg of adrenaline to the local anesthetic prolongs spinal anesthesia by about one-third. Spinal anesthesia is used for operations on the lower limbs, pelvis, lower abdomen. Advantage of spinal anesthesia over general anesthesia are it is safer, produces good analgesia and muscular relaxation without loss of consciousness, cardiac, pulmonary, renal disease and diabetes pose less problems. 
On this slide, you can see drugs used for spinal anesthesia and their duration of action. For example, lidocaine, dupivacaine, tetracaine. Concentration, volume which is used, total dose, and duration of action. Complications of spinal anesthesia. Respiratory paralysis, hypotension, headache, codequina syndrome, septic meningitis, nausea and vomiting. And below you can see the description of codequina syndrome. And the last one is epidural anesthesia. The spinal dural space is filled with semi-liquid fat through which nerve roots travel. The anesthetic injected in this space acts primarily on nerve roots in the epidural as well as subarachnoid spaces to which it diffuses and small amount permeates through intervertebral foramina to produce multiple paravertebral blocks. Epidural anesthesia can be divided into three categories depending on the site of injection. Thoracic injection is made in the mid-thoracic region. Lumbar produce anesthesia of lower abdomen pelvis and hind limbs, and caudal. Injection is given in the sacral canal through the sacral hiatus. Produce anesthesia of pelvic and perineal region. Lidocaine 1-2% and bupivacaine 0.25-0.5% to are used for epidural anesthesia. Contraindications of spinal anesthesia. Hypotension and hypovolemia uncooperative or mentally ill patients, infants and children, control of level is difficult, bleeding diathesis, raised intracranial pressure, vertebral abnormalities, for example, kyphosis, lordosis, etc., and sepsis at injection site. And on this slide you can see comparative features of general and local anesthesia. For example, Site of action. In general anesthesia, it is CNS. In local anesthesia, it is peripheral nerves. Area of body involved. In general, it is whole body. In local, it is restricted area. Consciousness. In general, it is lost. In local, it is unaltered. Care of vital functions. In general, it is essential. In local, it is usually not needed. Physiological tree space. In general, it is high. In local, it is low. Poor health patients. In general, it is risky. And for local, it is safer. Use in non-cooperative patient. Possible for general. For local, not possible. Mayor surgery. For general, preferred. For local, cannot be used. Minor surgery. For general, not preferred. And for local, preferred. The next part of our lecture is astringent drugs. Classification of astringent drugs. First, organic substances, tannin, tanalbinum, herb of St. John's worth, flowers of chamomile, bark of oak. And second, non-organic substances, bismuth, subnitrate, and denol as the trade name. On this picture you can see oak tree, on this St. John's word, in here chamomile, and in here sage. Description of astringent drugs. Tannin is an organic astringent, is used in the form of solution, ointment, powder for external use, has astringent and antitoxic action, is an antidote in poisoning with alkaloids and salts of metals, forms non-stable compounds with morphine, Physostigmine, atropine, nicotine, and cocaine. It is used for gargling in diseases of oral mucose, for processing of burns, for lavage of stomach in acute poisonings, may disturb digestion if it is taken orally. Tanalbinum is a compound of tannin, is taken orally to treat dyspepsia, enteritis, enterocolitis doesn't bind to enzymes in the gut and doesn't disturb digestion. Bark of oak, cortex quercus, is used in the form of decoction, is applied for gargling in stomatitis, gingivitis, periodontitis, may be also used to treat burns, wounds. Leaves of salvia, 
herb of St. John's wort, flowers of chamomile, are used in the form of infusions. They have astringent, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial effects, stimulate regeneration of tissues. Indications are similar to indications for the use of the oak bark, are widely used in dentistry. Tannin concentrations. Rinsing of mouth, pharynx, larynx from 1 to 2% solution. Treatment of burned surfaces, cracks, bed sores from 3 to 10% solutions. Gastric lavage in case of poisoning with salts of heavy metals and alkaloids, 0.5% solution. Note, tannin forms non-stable compounds with morphine, physostigmine, atropine, nicotine and cocaine, as I mentioned before. What is the general mechanism of action of them? Astringents reacting with tissue proteins on the surface of the mucous membranes, erosions and ulcers, form albuminates in the form of a film that covers the surface of the mucous membrane of the stomach and intestines. This film protects it from mechanical, thermal and chemical irritations, resulting in a decrease in the flow of pathological impulses from the damaged zone inhibiting the absorption of various substances, including toxic. As a result, the inflammatory reaction disappears in the injury zone, the motility of the intestines decreases, the epitalization of erosions and ulcers is accelerated. Tunnelbean and other herbal preparations from the group of estrogen drugs are used for the eradication of diarrhea, as well as synthetic preparation bismuth subnitrate. Bismuth subnitrate. Non-organic astringent. What are the pharmacological effects? Astringency, antacid, covering, cytoprotective. Mechanism of action. Coat the ulcer, forms a protective barrier which protects the ulcer from the stomach acid, giving it time to heal. Accumulation of epidermal growth factor around the ulcer. Increases mucosal secretion of prostaglandins and bicarbonates. Bactericidal effect against Herigobacter pylori, which is associated with gastritis and peptic ulcers, prevents adhesion of Helicobacter pylori to epithelial cells and can inhibit enzymes secreted by Helicobacter pylori. Indications for use Peptic ulcer and gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, inflammatory and erosive ulcerous diseases, gastritis, ulcer disease of the stomach and duodenum, functional dyspepsia, post-operative inflammatory and erosive changes, anastomosites, enterocolites, reduced number of bowel movements, control diarrhea, gases, upset stomach, indigestion, heartburn, nausea, is applied topically to treat wounds, ulcers and burns of skin. Side effects, black feces, nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, anaphylactic reactions. The next part of our lecture is covering drugs. Covering drugs examples flax seeds and starch, semolini and amylum, alma gel, malox, and phosphorus gel. Below you can see the pictures. So, mechanism of action first of all high molecular substances which form colloidal solutions with water mechanically protect the mucous membrane of the digestive canal from irritation. As a result, reflex responses are reduced, intestinal motility is inhibited, absorption in the stomach and intestines, including drug and toxic substances, slows down. Favorable conditions are created to eliminate the inflammatory process. Indications for use Inflammatory diseases of GIT Combined use with agents of irritating action, poisonings, meteorism and diarrhea. Side effects. Constipation, light sleepness in some drugs. Next one is adsorbing drugs. Adsorbing drugs. Adsorbents are insoluble fine powders which have a large active surface capable of fixing irritating and poisonous substances dissolved in water and gases, thus preventing their absorption in the GI tract and protecting receptors. There are two types of absorbing drugs, neutral sorbents, for example, carboactivatis, almagel, etc., and special sorbents, 
For example, ionic rosins. Below you can see an example so of these drugs. And on this picture, I would like you to memorize the differences between absorption and adsorption. One of the representatives of adsorbing drugs is enterogel. It is metal silicic acid hydrogels. Pharmacological effects. Adsorbing, detoxifying, covering, protective. Protects from erosive processes, helps to increase local immunity. Mechanism of action. Adsorb or bind harmful substances in the gut and blood, such as endotoxins, viruses, allergens, and other medium and high-weight molecular harmful substances, source of heavy metals, radionuclides, which are then excreted naturally. Indications. Total body detox. Prevent toxic and allergic reactions. Traveler's diarrhea. Hangovers. Reduces toxic load on kidney and liver, acute or chronic diarrhea of any cause, bacterial, viral, retroviral, food poisoning, infectious, inflammatory, autoimmune diseases, cancer and other diseases. Detoxification therapy for chronic renal disease, nephrolithiasis, toxic and viral hepatitis, cirrhosis and cholestasis, gastritis with low acidity, colitis. Poisoning with alcohol and drugs, allergic reactions, skin diseases, diatesis, neurodermatitis, toxic causes of pregnant women in the first half of pregnancy, intestinal dysbiosis, side effects, constipation, hypersensitivity reactions. One more representative, which is activated charcoal, carboactivatus. It is adsorbent. Pharmacological effect is adsorbing. Antiflatulence. Mechanism of action. Adsorb or bind harmful substances in the gut. Indications for use. It is used in acute poisonings, upset stomach, meteorism, high cholesterol, and bile flow problems, cholestasis, during pregnancy. Side effects. Black feces, nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, anaphylactic reactions. Orally used adsorbing agents, in addition to anti-inflammatory action, contribute to lowering the acidity of gastric juice and inhibit gut motility, eliminate flatulence and diarrhea. The most active adsorbing agent is activated charcoal once again. It has a large overall surface, 1 gram is about 200 square meters. It is available in the form of powder, granules, capsules and tablets called carbolanol. Activated charcoal is used as an adsorbent in hyperacidic gastritis, flatulence, infectious disease of the digestive canal, blood intoxication, poisoning with alkaloids, strychnine, morphine, atropine, barbiturates, heavy metal salts, phosphorus, potassium, cyanides. And the last part of our lecture is irritative agents. Irritative agents are ammonium solution, Mentol, oleum terpentini purified, mustard plaster, camphor. And here we can see leaf mustard on this picture. As an example, ammonium solution, 10% concentration. Usage. Unconsciousness. Put a cotton ball moistured with ammonium solution to a nose. In the case of alcohol intoxication. Orally 5-10 drops of solution diluted in half of a glass of water. For washing of surgeon's hands, rarely. 0.5% solution. And as an additional part of our lecture, I would like to discuss with you some examples of MCQs. Dentists commonly practice local anesthetization by applying procaine solution with 0.1 adrenaline solution. The added adrenaline induces five options local vasoconstriction, local vasodilation, arterial pressure drop, decrease in vascular resistance, arterial pressure rise. As you remember from one of the previous slides, there was a question why this combination is needed. So the answer is local vasoconstriction. This combination produces additional local vasoconstriction.
Dentist revealed that his patient is suffering from hypersensitivity to procaine. Which of the following agents may be used for local anesthesia? So please remember, if there is hypersensitivity to esters, the drug to choose in this case will be lidocaine, which is amide. A 25-year-old woman with red and itchy eczematoid dermatitis visits your office. She had a dental procedure one day earlier with administration of a local anesthetic. There were no other findings, although she indicated that she had a history of allergic reactions. Which of the following drugs is most likely involved? So once again, the idea of esters, they have more chances to cause allergy, so the answer will be procaine. The drug from the group of covering agents with antacid effect was prescribed to patient with gastric ulcer. Which of the following medications was prescribed? In this case, of course, Almagel, according to the description. Bad sores appeared in patient on strict back regime. What irritating drug was prescribed by physician to improve blood circulation in the area of bad sores? In this case, you are searching for irritating drug. From all the options, the only irritating one is comfort spirit. For the patient with gastroenteritis, doctor prescribed preparation of tannin derivative with anti-inflammatory effect on the basis of the astringent mechanism. Which of the following drugs was prescribed? In this case, you have the hint that it is astringent and tannin derivative. Tannin derivative is tunnel beam. Thank you for the attention.